Flight of the Southern Hawker. Simply add nature. So welcome back to those existing subscribers to the channel. I hope you enjoy this exciting footage that we've got today of slow motion video showing Southern Hawker Dragonflies in flight. Something that I've been trying to capture for quite a long time now. It's quite difficult. They move so fast and you need to have uh, a camera that's capable of doing lots of frames per second. So much of this footage is 200 or more frames per second. So you can see every wing beat. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I do hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, uh, why not think about subscribing or, or leave us a like or a comment. So we get into the video then. Uh, this is a male southern hawker hovering over the pond. You see just for a split second there, a, a moment of gliding. Uh, Dragonfly is a bit special because not only do they have huge wings uh, that, that can't beat as fast as those of a fly, so it's about 30 beats per second. Uh, but each of those four wings, they have two pairs of wings, four wings, are controlled by individual muscles in their thorax. And this means that they can cope with different beats on each wing and it leaves them with a huge range of maneuverability and agility in the air as well as achieving speeds of up to 36 kilometers per hour so you can see this dragonfly is a, is a male southern hawker with its blue abdomen there and it's able to hover and quickly change direction and speed they can even fly backwards um, or glide as you can see here and the males tend to be very territorial so this male is patrolling the pond usually within sort of a meter or so and it's um, com quite inquisitive of me often flying uh, quite close past me and round me around my arms and camera and things so I think it's on two missions here one is to protect its territory and another is hunting so dragonflies have compound eyes, which must look a bit like looking through a kaleidoscope. So you'll notice some of the footage you can see clearly it holds its head still whilst the body moves just like that. So the thorax twists and actually have some hairs on the back of the head that help to keep the head stable in flight. And that, that able, enables them to keep focus on um, something that they're looking at. Dragonflies are masterpieces of biological design and they've been around for 250 million years and their design hasn't really changed all, all that much in that time. They're exceptional hunters with uh, probably the highest uh, efficiency in terms of hunting and success rate at catching prey. They're able to predict the movement of their prey such as little flies and things and intercept the prey rather than chasing them uh, so the, the, the ability to fly fast is mainly to help them get away from predators rather than to chase or follow prey so you can see here they hover looking around for prey and when they spot the prey they're able to predict the movement of their prey and then fly to intercept that flight path of their prey as dragonflies beat their wings at that slower speed that I mentioned even though they're very large wings they make very little sound at all, so almost flying silently. Now these southern hawkers like to get in amongst the vegetation and you will often hear a clatter of the wings as they sort of force their way between leaves and branches and things. They do make quite a bit of noise clattering their wings against things. Uh, they have very strong, stiff and lightweight wings uh, with an intricate sort of network of veins that are each hollowed out sort of tubular veins that are very stiff and the wings are very large actually corrugated so they're sort of folded uh, concertinaed across the length um, and that's to help with the rigidity of the wings and prevent them buckling and all dragonflies have a, a colored sort of opaque spot which you can just about see here on this female um, which is towards the tip of the wing which is called a pterostigma and this sort of opaque cell of their, their wings is a bit heavier and it's thought that that provides a sort of balance of the wing um, in, in torsion and twisting 
And I feel like I sort of befriended this female Southern Hole Chris. She was over positing on a log, uh, just um, gently touching and stroking her wings. She seemed to be aware of my presence and I was filming her. And then she became very inquisitive about what this camera was that I was holding. And you can see there, having a good old look at me and repeatedly flying up and sort of landing on the, the camera. And she's looking straight at us there. That's her face to terrify any fly. And dragonflies can actually capture their prey and eat it mid-flight. And also, you can see just then, underneath the thorax, the, the sort of body behind the head, you can see the legs of the dragonfly tucked away like an undercarriage folded on a folded away underneath a, an old-fashioned aeroplane there. So yes, the female will fly around a pond and, and lay her eggs on any vegetation. Or, or wet logs particularly and sort of she has a sickle shaped or um, hook shaped uh, hook on her abdomen which she can press into wet logs very sharp uh, I wouldn't like her to press into my arm or anything but they do occasionally land on my shoes or on your clothes and, and think that they can lay their eggs there not quite sure that would pan out as she intended but uh, there you go so some of the eggs are actually laid not only on wet logs in the pond but also on vegetation near to the pond where the larva can hatch and find their way into the pond. Dragonflies like to fly around on hot sunny days in the summer months because that will keep their wing muscles warm and southern hawkers can be seen flying into late evening on a warm day too. So this is the male southern hawk. You can clearly see the blue abdomen there distinguishing the male. And the female, this one ovipositin, has a green abdomen. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy uh, the footage. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more footage, we do have an uncut version of the video, which I will post if people are interested. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you very much for watching.